So hi guys, um, shooting long exposures with the Sony RX10 Mark IV, exactly the same situation with the RX100 um, and any of the other RX10 um, cameras as well. Um, but obviously I utilise the RX10 Mark IV most of the time. The way the camera works seems to be very very well actually. It seems to be really good, quite you know, um, 30 second exposures, ISO 100 to ISO 400 seems very clean, um, very sharp. This was shot sat on my lap, so a tripod sat on my lap, and I just set a two-second timer, and then just let go of it, and it nice and sharp, looking through the car window. Uh, just so you can see how sharp the writing is there. This shot exactly the same again, sat on my lap, just pushed the thing, and just stabilisation was turned off, it just settled, and then snapped the shot. Uh, those both those shots were about three seconds, so you know it's not too bad at all. Um, this shot here is some runners. You can see the light zig like zigzagging around and everything. They're, they're torches and wristbands on them, which obviously light up. Um, and I was shooting at f uh, f8 on this one, so you've got quite a bit of starburst off the uh, the street lights and everything there. The only downside of the street lights, the LEDs now seem to give a lot more star sort of bursting going on, which is different to what we used to see in the old old sort of style light bulbs. Um, and I've also blown out the uh, the lights inside the shelter there this one's better um but the other thing is you can actually see a little bit of light glare up on the left hand side top there um i haven't edited these photos at all they're literally straight out the camera and just saved as a jpeg straight from raw draw to a jpeg um just so you can see what's what uh a complete rookie error here even though i've been doing it for many years uh but it just shows i'm human and everyone makes little mistakes you can see my tripod and the camera there um to the naked eye i could hardly see it and it didn't really jump out at me because of the uh, the long exposure, obviously it's become more dominant. This shot here is at 600 millimeters onto a balcony. Obviously the blinds are closed, so I thought, okay, it's not not really an issue. I'm not looking into prying into anybody's life or anything. Um, but I just thought there's some lights there, and you can see how sharp that was. That's a 10 second exposure at 600 mil f uh, 5.6, and that was at 24 millimeters wide angle, um, and that was uh, for 10 seconds as well. But just cool the colours and everything, the different lights and everything looked really cool. Um, and that's the balcony obviously shot with uh, 600 mil this shot here um, wide angle down on the ground looking up um, that street light there and uh, the, the lighting inside the shelter look quite good um, the shadows and the, the sort of uh, the roof line and the tiles and everything look quite interesting but all these shots are anywhere between two and a half seconds up to about 30 I didn't go into bulb didn't really need to because obviously it's quite a lot of light still um, but really really pleased on how clean the shots are um, let's say not edited at all um, obviously a little bit of light still left in the sky and uh, obviously street lights and everything lighting in certain areas this is the old um, bathing station it was actually obviously an ice cream parlour now and uh, it's quite busy in the summer but the the way the uh, the waves and everything on the sea disappeared and just become very flat was nice uh, this shot here you can see quite a lot of glare coming from the right hand side that's from a street light but um, Obviously the sky in the background looks quite cool, but the railings were lit up just enough to actually just come out into the shot. Uh, this is the clock tower. Quite a difficult shot to get bang on really because the lights on the downside of the, the clock itself, down the sort of the corners, was really, really bright. Um, so a few hit and miss shots there to get that right. This shot here I quite like, um, the sort of harsh edges and the, the wood and everything like that. And then obviously the landscape in the background with the, the sea looking a bit misty. Um, this was the 30 second shot um, to get get it right um, for what I wanted anyway. Uh, another shot here of some more flats, um, the sky in the background, the moody clouds, car driving past. But as you can see there, little dots above the actual main headlight. That's the LEDs refreshing. You can see tiny little dots every gap. There's a tiny little gap in between. Um, as you see one here, you can see um, around the glare there, oh, this is my UV filter, it was a little bit dirty. So basically it started showing up um, sort of... Uh, Flare, it flares of itself around the actual starburst of the um, the street light there. This is shot f16. It was a 30 second exposure. This shot here, um, I took the UV filter off, and you can see it's much cleaner straight away. Um, and it could be touched up if if I wanted to. But um, that's just a quick, you know, if you were you know going to go out with a camera and mess around with it, um, that's what you can get quite easily without too much drama um, in different things. I mean, the weather was calm. It was a little bit windy still. But um, the sky was uh, nice and clear, obviously with a few moody clouds, which added to the photos anyway. And uh, you just got to watch your white balances because obviously the lighting's very different in 
in certain areas and whatever you're shooting so um, because some street lights are more yellow compared to some of the LEDs that are quite white so anyway uh, anyway guys please subscribe please click the notification bell and um, obviously ask any questions if you bought the camera recently or if you're stuck with it um, I can try and help that's not a problem um, please share as well um, and obviously uh, just keep watching that'd be great and um, I'll see you soon cheers